Hey everyone, I'm Alex, thanks for clicking, and welcome to this lesson on common who questions in English. That's right, today I am Doctor Who for you. That was not too bad, right? Okay, so today, if you've watched the other videos on common questions, this is the one for who. So just like those videos, we're gonna practice the pronunciation, the fluency, and the structure of these questions. So I don't wanna waste any time. Let's begin. First one, a very philosophical question. Who am I? Okay, so this is also the title of a Jackie Chan movie. And it's also the title of another movie, I think from the 2000s, that's also action-based. So who am I? You know, if you're ever 16 years old, if you're 17, you're looking up at your ceiling while listening to whatever music kids listen to today, just, who am I? You know, that's it, just, just think about it. And who are you? So, you know, if you meet someone for the first time or if you think someone is acting rudely, you can be like, who are you? Okay, or like, oh, who are you? I don't know you, like, who, who are you? Um, are you like her brother or her sister or who are you? I don't know. All right, and hey, who's he? Who's she? Who's this? Who's that? Okay, so if you don't know someone and you're talking to a family member, a colleague, a friend, coworker, and you wanna know because because you want to meet someone or you're curious about someone and you can say, hey, who is that? Who is she? Who is he? Who's this? Okay? All right, so these three, because they're common, you know, they say, who am I? Who are you? Who is she? Who is he? Who's this? Who's that? Um, I said them very quickly, and now I want you to repeat them after me. So, repeat after me. Who am I? Who are you? Who's he? Who's she? Who's this? Who's that? All right, very good. Now, next, similar style of question. Who is the hmm? Here, you have many possibilities, many different titles that you can use in this question. So, who's the president? If, you, if you're traveling to a new country and you don't know about the political system or the political leaders or you're just curious about the political leader in a country or a place, you can say, who's the prime minister there? Who's the president? Who's the new guy or the new girl, right? So if you're working in a company and someone new comes in and maybe you've never met them before, very common question, hey, who's the new guy? Who's the new girl? Like, where, where did they come from, okay? Who's the teacher? So you're taking a class in university and you're looking at the name of the class and you're like, oh, this sounds interesting. Who's the teacher? Who teaches that class, okay? Uh, who's the leader? Who's the goalie, right? So if you're trying to gamble and make a bet on a team and you wanna know, you know, in hockey or in soccer slash football, depending on where you're from, uh, you wanna know, hey, who's the goalie for that team? Who's in net? Who's blocking the shots? Because if it's someone who's bad, then maybe I will bet on the other team. Or uh, who's the boss? This is only a reference. I only put this here to reference a 1990s TV show with Tony Danza. And I don't remember the actress's name. In the show, she was Angela. Who's the boss? Anyone? If you're like under 25, you probably don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, and uh, next, I drew a door. Very common question. If someone knocks on your door, who's there? Who is it? Okay, so um, again, you can also say, you know, who's there or who is it? If you hear someone in a room and you thought you were alone, you can say like, Who's there? Also, very common in horror movies or thrillers. You're like, who is it? Who's there? Okay. Uh, next, who's coming? 
or who's going? So, you know, your friend is having a birthday party and you want to know about how many people will be there or who will be there. So you can ask, who's coming? Or who's going? Who's going to the party? Okay? All right. Now, uh, let's go back a little bit and repeat these with me. So we'll do three and three. Who's there? Who is it? Who's coming? Who's going? Okay. And the last one on this side of the board, who wants, hmm. So again, if you are at work and you're going out for lunch maybe, and you want to be nice to your coworkers, you can say, hey, who wants pizza? Who wants coffee? Who wants this one? Who wants more? Uh, maybe if you're serving cake, you can say, okay, who wants more? Does anyone want more? Um, but again, who wants coffee? Very common question, you know, among workmates and, and work colleagues, uh, if a person is going out for lunch to get coffee. So who wants coffee? Okay, or who wants pizza? Maybe you have the pizza now. Who wants pizza? I wish I had pizza in my hands, but I don't. Let's continue. Okay, so who wants to, who wants to do something? So here, who wants something, who wants like a thing, a noun usually, or who wants to do something. So who wants to help? Who wants to go? Who wants to come? Okay. So you can ask in general to the people in a room like, hey, who wants to help me? Who wants to do my homework? Who wants to go to the movie, for example? So because these are fairly similar, repeat after me. Who wants coffee? Who wants more? Who wants to help? Who wants to go with me? The person is here. That's why I'm looking there, right? So next, maybe imagine your friend tells you a story about another friend and they do something ridiculous. They did something that seems unbelievable. And you listen to the story and you say, who does that? That's ridiculous. That is not normal. Okay. So, um, who does that? This is usually a reaction of surprise and shock to something where you, where you just don't understand how or who would do something like that. Okay. So who does that? All right. Um, so for example, someone who maybe texts you a message and asks you a question and you answer them and then they don't answer you for five days or something. And you're like, who does that? Five days? Come on. You asked me a question. Now I want to know why. All right. So, um, who did next? Who did this? Who did that? Who did it? So maybe you're at a museum or, you know, you're looking at a piece of artwork and say, oh, who did this? Or who did that? Who did, who did it? Maybe you're looking at some graffiti on a wall by your house and say, who did this? Or who did it? Who did that? Or you've heard about a crime, for example, you can say, who, who did that? Or who did it? Who did this? Okay. So let's repeat after me with these questions. This one, imagine that I have told you something really, really shocking about my friend and you ask me the question, who does that? Okay, next, who did this? Who did that? Who did it? Okay, good. And next, this is a question that's very confrontational. Now, when I say confrontational, it means you want to create like a fight with a person, maybe, maybe an argument. So who do you think you are? Okay. So if someone goes in front of you and challenges you, challenges your opinion or your authority 
or calls you bad names or insults you, you can say, you're insulting me. Who do you think you are? Who are you? Okay. So this is a question that you ask when you're really offended usually and the person in front of you, you think like, who is this person? Why are you, why are you talking this way to me? Okay. So repeat after me and try to sound like disgusted. Okay. Like who do you think you are? Okay. I hope you said that in a room by yourself without other people around you. Okay. And let's do the next one. Who won? Who lost? So this is a common question if you watch sports. Uh, so if you watch, you know, the soccer game last night, the hockey game, the baseball game, the football game, whatever, uh, you, you can ask, hey, who won? Or who lost? Or maybe you're watching uh, a UFC match or a world wrestling entertainment WWE fight between John Cena and The Undertaker. Very few people understand that reference, but it's okay. So who won? Who lost? Okay. Uh, so repeat after me very quickly. Who won? Who lost? Okay. And who's with me? So now this is something you would say if you state an opinion or you state a plan and you're trying to inspire people to agree with you or to follow you in something. So maybe in a movie, you know, someone gives a very inspirational speech saying, we're going to get those guys because they are bad. Who's with me? Okay. So who's going to follow me? Okay. Um, anyone, anyone who's with me, who's with me. Or if you say something that's, you know, a little funny or controversial, or you want people to agree with you, you can say, who's with me? Huh? Huh? Are you with me? Who's with me? Okay. And finally, who's in now? Who's in this is usually used when you propose a plan uh, to go out with your friends or to go out with, you know, some family members and you say, okay, I want to watch, um, I don't know, let's make up a movie. I want to watch star Wars episode 12 because now is the year 2027 or something. I want to watch star Wars episode 12. Who's in, I want to watch it tonight. Who's in, who wants to come with me? Okay. Who wants to go? So repeat after me, these two. Who's with me? Who's in? Okay. I like this one a lot. So let's say it dramatically and think of, you know, think that you're like Leonidas from 300 and you've just spoken to the Spartans. Who's with me? That feels good. It feels very good. Okay. That's it guys. So if you'd like to test your understanding of this material, as always, you can check out the quiz on ingvid.com. If you enjoyed the video, like it, comment on it, subscribe to the channel. And as always, check me out on Facebook and Twitter, where you'll see a bunch of pictures that I'm posting or comics or books that I'm reading. And uh, there's a whole bunch of wild, crazy stuff. And finally, if you really, really enjoy what we do here at Ingvid and you want to show your support, uh, you can actually donate to the site. And we really, really appreciate every single donation we receive. And this, all this stuff is free for you guys. So if you could help out a little bit, muchos gracias. I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, and until next time, thanks very much. And thanks for clicking.